Pixie Woo and Real Techniques and get the gloss have asked us for our top five products. Am I going you first? You can go first. Okay. We'll do, we'll do alternates. Yes. yes. Well, I, I'm a bit, looking at yours, thinking, oh, we've got quite similar products. My top, first top pick is my fragrance, which I absolutely love. This one is by Frederick Mal, and it is Portrait of a Lady. The story behind this fragrance, and the reason I love it so much, is I was hunting for a fragrance that people stopped me in the street and said, oh my God, you smell amazing. Because people always stop my sister and tell her she smells amazing, and I was getting really, really jealous. Um, and I did... I met my friend, Lord Gavin, yes I have a friend who's Lord, and he had this on and I hugged him and said, you smell amazing. And then I was doing Alison Janney makeup for the BAFTAs and she had it on and I hugged her at the end I was like, you smell amazing. And that was my last sign that I need to have that scent and smell amazing like they do. And people have stopped me in the street and told me I smell amazing. And you have felt the pain of it, haven't you? Doesn't bother me at all. In the slightest. Don't know what she's talking about. It did this is the time. fragrance that um, that people stop me in the street about. This is from Le Labo and it is Te Noir 29. And it's very unique unisex fragrance. Um, it has black tea in it. so And it's got a slight kind of leafy tobacco-y smell about it, which is really, really unique. It is nice. It's, it's not lovely. as nice as this one. And since nice. I've had this, so many people have asked me, I ended up having to buy it for my mum as well, but she really loves it. So that, I love that. Oh, mum. Yeah, she loves it. Mine? Did she buy yours? Did she? Did you? Yeah, know I, don't, I haven't told her what mine is. I wouldn't okay. share that information with her. Mine is a warm, floral, spicy scent. None of those sound nice, do they? But it is. I could smell roses in there. It's, my it's floral, yeah, it's warm, very... and a little bit spicy. It's lovely. Okay, number two. Uh, SBF. This is my favourite SBF. This is um, Sarah Chapman Skinesis SBF 30. I use this under my foundation every day. And sometimes when I'm not wearing foundation at all, and it just evens out the skin tone a little bit, it's got a tiny bit of colour, which I like just to even my skin tone out a little bit. Let me show you that. Can you see? It just gives you a lovely bit of a glow. So you don't always have to wear makeup That's quite it. dark, actually. Does it come in different shades? No. Or just one? Hmm. I think it's good. I don't know. It blends in beautifully. But it just means that you don't always have to wear foundation. And sometimes I don't want to wear foundation or anything, really, apart but from But you do SPF. always want to wear SPF. Exactly. Okay, um, I have been through, I don't know how many of these, but I constantly re-buy it or call it in. This is Sunday Riley CEO. I actually use the serum, the brightening serum, as well as this one. It's absolutely brilliant. I use it at night. I also use it before my make, before my makeup, before my foundation. I love it. I love the smell of it. I love how rich it's it really is. Really orange. Everything it's about scent, it, it, I absolutely adore. It is. A, it is a feast for the nose. You should try it. My next one isn't quite such a feast for the nose. You haven't got to undo it. It's good, isn't it? So nice. I have this too. Okay, my next one, I'm actually going to put two together, um, but they are one each. This is the new Elizabeth Arden capsules, uh, retinal capsules. Now you might say, how can that be your favourite when it hasn't been out very long? But you can see how many I've used. I love this because I love to use a retinal and this is a really, really lightweight retinal, so it's not going to make your skin red or sore. It's like baby steps of a retinol, if you know what I mean. And it is so, so beautiful. And the reason I, one of the main reasons I love it is because when you go away, you can take a capsule with you for each day. So I went away recently for 18 days. I took 18 capsules with me. Um, it's just these two things. I'm gonna add my next one, which is Sunday Riley Luna. Not so nice smelling. Stinks. My husband Does. says, have you put chip fat on or something when I get into bed with him? But these two products to, together have made my skin better than it's ever been before. This one for the retinol, so it's going to help even out the skin. This one, I stopped using for a little while. Um, when Sunday Riley discontinued Artemis, it was like I was so upset with them for discontinuing my favorite product that I forgot about the other amazing oil she does. So I've started using this one again, and the others, but this is my key one. Artemis really smell. I just love them. They make, it was like dead broccoli. They it's make your skin so much better and smoother, and it really, I used to suffer with redness on my cheeks. It just evens out the skin tone. 
I can't even rave highly enough about them because I absolutely, they have changed my skin completely. And these two products, I think, really complement each other. So that's why I'm putting them both together. I should really say, even though they do smell, some of them, absolutely foul, they, um, the reason they smell like that is because they haven't got like artificial fragrances in, which is what, in fact, makes them so brilliant and why we use them. Yeah. It also has this, go when you put it on the skin, it makes your skin very, very blue, which I think may be helping with my, um, my redness because obviously you would put a green on top of your redness to, to counteract it out. And I just think these two together, I must remember and not swap them out for other stuff because they're brilliant. Okay, next I'm moving on to, this is still skin, but this is makeup. Um, this is Sizzly. Uh, Instant Eclat Baz Lumiere, which is their primer, is a very glowy primer. I have dry skin and um, this makes my skin look much more healthy. So I can use this under any foundation and it is just absolutely brilliant. And um, every time I've used this and showed ma other makeup artists, they adore it as well, which just kind of, it just makes me feel like, do you know what? I was clarifies absolutely right. It. it clarifies exactly why I love I it. Bought it's really it's brilliant. Brilliant. I made Nick buy it. <laughs> and they do love and it. I love it. I love it. It's great. Okay, my next one, I have two again to put together, and then these will be my last, and you'll have two oh. at the end. Um, I have this, I'm sorry guys, because you can't get it in the UK. Can not you yet. not? Well, Space and um, Sephora is coming here, so maybe but they'll bring this with them. Surely Sephora might have it. Well, this is it. Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. It, I have a dry skin, and it makes your skin look glowy, healthy, not like you've got a lot of makeup on. I want something that evens my skin out, looks glowy, looks lovely on the skin, but not like I'm wearing loads. This is the product. I think it's just brilliant. I've tried others and I always refer to this one. It's just such a nice tex texture. And you're the same with this. Yeah, I you? really love it. I love it. And I was gonna have it in my set of favorites, but she got it in there first. And this is what I use with it. Expert face brush. Boss it into the skin. People always forget that brushes are the key to the makeup because they will hold it into place for a lot longer. Small amounts, work it over. A bit more if you need it. Key. Okay, my next one is this, um, the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques and also this palette, which is Pro Conceal and Correct Palette, um, which is the new name for it. It's just MAC Studio Finish, which for me is the best best concealer of all time. It covers everything. Every time I swap this out and put something else in my makeup bag and then I have something I really need to cover, I realise just how brilliant this is because I always have to reach for this. And the great thing about this is that you can buy it in a palette like this and it means that you can mix and match as you go through the seasons and your skin changes. Also, if you get a massive bruise on your leg or you know on your face or whatever, you can just mix and match to cover it. It's absolutely brilliant you've there isn't a got better your, formulation you've also got your a lot of people like to do the lighter colors through t certain tones of the face so you've got all that to be done this with, is in a palette absolutely the best most fantastic concealer and considering that this has been on the market for i don't know 15 years longer it's quite amazing it's so incredible and my very last one because nick seemed to team everything up together <laughs> my very last one is this I love an eye gloss, I love an eye cream. This is my favorite at the moment. This is from Surratt. Surratt is a brand that I adore. And um, this particular color is lovely. It's like a soft kind of latte color. The name is Hadouka, Hadeka, I don't know. Um, and I just use my finger just to put this over my eyelid. I love that it's kind of a creasy gloss. It's very, very simple, gives you a really fresh look. Do you then use a waterproof mascara? No, nah, I don't even worry about it. No, but does it not transfer? Well, I have it on. Oh, it kind of creases a little bit, which I don't mind. Nice. Look, I even have eyeliner on with it. It's mm, good. So there you go. Those are our top five, but six. Our top ten, <laughs> but twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.